do you know the best thing about winter car boots as they start a little bit later it is 6 25 in the morning and the sellers have only just started coming in Prices are. I don't know if they're set per item or what. Could you on the consoles? 30 quid each. So 60 quid for whatever's in there. You know, they all do other controls and guns and as well. And how much are the games a piece, mate? The PlayStation 1 game is yeah. 3 quid. 3 quid. So if I was going to bundle it, right. how much is the bike? 30, 30 quid, yeah. It's got an issue with so the gear. It's a case of going through and seeing what's worth it. What it's a wee there. Yeah. And the gun, and the gun. I'm not running away, I'm just looking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, there's certain things I'll run for. That ain't one of them. <laughs> you want three quid? Yeah. That's, that's at least two cups of tea there. No, no, no. no. Not what here? It's two pound a cup. Oh, is it? I, I don't drink tea here. <laughs> yeah, I think you can find it's two quid at a fucking boot sale now. That's mad. Back in, I think it used to be yes. 50p, 10 bob. A long, yeah, a long that's, time ago. That is going back, son. Yeah. I mean, not being funny. I remember it being 50p. As a as a trader, right? Milton Keynes Park. That's a long time ago. Galaxy far, far away. Right, have we have we got any more gaming stuff coming out, or don't you know? I don't know, I don't know mate. To be honest, I'm he, not he sure. loaded yesterday or the day before yesterday, and he's thrown it all on. So fair enough. Times <sighs> four. They were a decent adult size, that would have been a no brainer. I'm not sure this is amazing. All complete rubbish. So it gets sold. I don't think it's going to be a lot sold. Zero sold. How much you got to coach, mate? Five Sold. size as well. In the bag? Uh, no, I'm alright, sir. I haven't tried it. We have not had anybody bring them back. What is this? What is this? This one. I see, I see. The remote. Huh? He's selling the PS3 with the remote. Oh, okay. How much for the remote, mate? Three pounds. I'll go another one. Yeah. Yeah. Big man. Oh, yeah. It's a wired one. It is. It's up and Last spotted. Okay. Up and yeah. This one is 30 pounds. Save me three quid. Yeah. Okay, now I hate listing clothes. However, I got this at a bargain price. It's brand new with the tags. It's Samuel Windsor. It's that horrible waxy type thing, but it means it's probably gonna be waterproof. It's a good size. So it's shower proof, not waterproof. Uh, it's an extra large. We're getting into that point of the year where these should start flying out. The fact that it's brand new with the tags, 
is only going to help it sell. And I paid the ridiculous price of five pounds. And for five pounds, I got Wipeout Amiga Collection on a PlayStation 4. I'm gonna test it first uh, because I've not played Wipeout for a very, very long time, not since it was on the PlayStation 1. So um, yeah, I'll test it. I think off the top of my head, it's about 15 pounds or so. And I missed out on loads and loads and loads of retro games. So I got there, I must have been the fourth person there and I didn't know what the score was. So I was just looking at a couple of bits. I had like Tekken at one point, just seeing what the prices were gonna be. It was three pound a game, 30 pound a console. So there was a NES and a SNES. They were obviously 30 pounds each. I paid three pounds for Wipeout 2097 from memory earlier today. It's about 25, 20 to 30 pounds or so plus the shipping. So yeah, we should be okay with that one. I also bought loads of packing supplies for £10.50. I'm putting this in now, otherwise I'll forget to pay myself back. Now, there's not a lot of footage of, of me walking around because I didn't buy a lot, to be honest, as you can see. But me and Steve were walking around and we were just talking about reselling in general. And literally, as we were talking about how good it is to buy and resell smaller stuff because it takes up, obviously, a lot less room. If you've got maybe... Uh, say a CRTV that you maybe paid three pounds for, it takes up a lot of room, but you may be able to sell it for over a hundred pounds. But if you think of that cubic volume, it's huge, okay? And in that cubic volume, if space is tight for you, it may be better for you to buy smaller things. And we were talking, and then I saw a coffee machine. And I said, I bet that's worth a couple hundred quid. It was, so I picked it up. And here it is. It's a bit of a beast. I paid 50 quid. It is oh, manageable. It is the Pro, no, the Giga X7 Professional. Now, what you are supposed to have with this is a line comes out of here, which will run the, the milk. That's not there. I'm hoping that that's just a like, straightforward put in a line and you're done sort of thing. Uh, these are ceramic. If this doesn't work, I can set it as it is for about 150 pounds. If it does work, or if I can get it to work, it's about five, 600. So obviously it's in my best interest to try and get it working. Um, worst case scenario, I could probably break it down for parts for, for quite a considerable amount. Um, it's just, I mean, the thing is, at home, we've got a little DeLonghi beat. Why am I still holding it? Let me put it down back in a minute. Right, what was I saying? So at home, we've got a DeLonghi bean to cup um, and we've also got a separate bean machine, but that does everything. It's got two hoppers, so you can have decaf and just regular coffee. From the research that I've been doing online, it does like every imaginable type of coffee that you can think of. Um, the, the thing is, it takes up a lot of room and I don't think with the hoppers on top, I can get it on my kitchen worktop and go underneath the kitchen units. So as nice as it would be to have it and it would get used every single day, I don't think it's going to fit. And there's no power cable, so I can't even test it. And all it takes is a kettle lead, which I've now just bought from eBay. So hopefully I can get that sourced in the next couple of days. It will come here, I can test it. Uh, there might even be a company locally that will service these sorts of machines. But £50, if I can get it serviced and potentially fully working, like some sort of a certificate to say it's working, um, or even like a warranty, I think someone's selling, why am I sitting like that? That's really uncomfortable. Oh, my ass is too bony for that. Um, someone's selling one for like, with a year's warranty for like eight, 900 quid, which is mad. So I am going to do a little bit of research, see if I can find anyone nearby who can do that, fix it, clean it make it look all nice and pretty, even better if they want to say, oh, okay, um, we'll buy this off you because we have people we can sell this to, but that's the sort of coffee machine that you're likely to see in car dealerships and offices. And to get it for 50 quid, it's an absolute bargain. It's just, it was just funny that it happened as we were talking about only buying smaller manageable stuff. And then, yeah, had to go and get the car to go and collect that bad boy. But there we go, car boot's done. Catch you guys next time. Au revoir.